From your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Storybook Land and EHT. Enter a world of wonder and whimsy and create everlasting memories for your family. Over 15 rides and dozens of themed attractions. For tickets, hours, and more info, visit storybookland.com. Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. We have our super moon for tonight, the Hunter's Moon. So if you wanted to catch a glimpse of that, you are good to go. We have clear skies all night long. We also have uh, those temperatures falling back down into the 30s and 40s, so definitely on the cooler side. So if you're gonna stay outside to catch a glimpse of that, you do wanna bring a jacket with you. We're also looking at a chance for some minor flooding in those back waterways and right along the coastline, just because of that onshore flow and the full moon and the time of those tides. But overall, nothing too crazy on the way. Tomorrow, we'll pick those temperatures back up into the upper 60s. That's very seasonable. It's right on the money for what we're used to seeing for this point in the year. Our drought conditions have worsened. Again, yesterday when we looked at this graphic, we had that yellow shading, which is just abnormally dry conditions, kind of stretching down kind of right along uh, Cape May, Cumberland, Salem County, big portion of Burlington, uh, Gloucester, and Camden County. Now we have had an update. We are looking at moderate drought conditions for everybody, and our severe drought has expanded a little bit further to the south as well. We are just downright dry. We desperately need a good soaking rain. Unfortunately, when we look at that long-term pattern, whether it be this week or that six to 10 day time frame, we don't see any big rainmakers on the way this stubborn high pressure is going to keep a lot of that moisture away from our area. So our drought conditions are not going anywhere anytime soon. Temperature wise tomorrow, we're back where we're supposed to be, but then we'll continue to warm up. So for Sunday and Monday, we'll be in the mid seventies. After that, a little bit of a cool down on the way for next Thursday. But aside from that, we are going to be seeing another warm up on the way. So while Thursday cools down a bit, Long term, we are seeing more above normal temperatures. A very big ridge is going to build over our area, allowing for some warm air to kind of move up across a big portion of the United States. Seven day forecast, lots of sunshine on the way. Temperatures back up in the mid 70s. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.